Today we're gonna do a video update about Digital Bay. It's a platform that I covered a few weeks prior, which aims to create an all-in-one ecosystem dApp with miners, tomb forks, staking, and many more. So this platform will be live both on Binance Smart Chain and on Base, and the pre-sale that took place several days ago was completely sold out, raising 10k on both chains. So as of this recording, Digital Bitcoin will go later today. It will go live in 13 hours. So I'm expecting um, real exciting updates later today. A bit of information about the launch price from the community chat. So there will be 7K liquidity for both chains and launch will be at two cents per token. And um, by that time it will be tradable via DEXs such as PancakeSwap. Now there have been several questions raised by the community why if the liquidity is considered low and it will be good for digital pay and why the launch price is the same with the pre-sale price so the devs have answered this question the liquidity low liquidity means that you don't need that much by pressure to pump the price which this could mean a good thing for the dpc token and as for the launch price it will be the same with the pre-sale price so that the pre-sellers will not have any incentive to dump the tokens at launch which is a big problem in most DeFi dApps out there so not financial advice and today we'll be covering more such as about the audits and about the first DeFi dApp that this platform has released which is digital mites so without further ado let's get right into today's video First things first, let's take a quick look at the audits. As you can see, according to the announcement made by the devs, the audit is now published and fully accessible for everyone to see. You can check the link by clicking this audit report link right here. And if you haven't joined the group yet, I'll be giving the group link down below in the description box. It's a good idea to join the group if you're interested in this project to stay updated as well as to get the latest announcements. Now the purpose of this dApp is of course being more transparent with the community as well as to check if there are vulnerabilities or backdoors and to check whether the devs are actually implementing um, the mechanisms they say they would according to the white paper. Alright so now let's actually take a look at the audits. Now going over to the audit reports, the audit is done by Spywolf. And I've actually taken a look at this audit report and it's relatively easier to understand compared to most um, audits out there. Now let's go over and check the vulnerability check. We can see that they have passed all the checks here, which is basically a good thing. But the next thing we, we want to know is the risk um, that are found in this DAP. Being as objective as I can, one of the threats that are found in this DAP according to this audit report is the ability for the owner to blacklist addresses making users impossible to sell. Now this doesn't mean that the owner will rug this project, it just means that there is a centralization uh, risk in making it not 100% a decentralized finance step. The next threat that I can find is that the owner has the ability to adjust or to change taxes according to what he wants. So if I'm reading the white paper correctly, um, currently there is a 5% buy tax and a 15% sell taxes that will contribute to the liquidity pool. So yeah, technically the owner can change these taxes. So this is one risk that we have to be aware of. Moving on, there are also several good practices found in Digital Bay according to this audit report which includes the inability of the owner to mint new tokens for themselves after employment and the owner cannot set a transaction limit. So it's a good idea to take a look at this audit report yourself. I'll be giving the link down below and also familiarize yourself with the tokens, allocations and distribution to get a general idea of what the token will be used and evaluates risks accordingly. For the next part of the video, let's talk about digital mines. So this is the first dApp that the ecosystem has released and basically according to the white paper this is a daily yield farming protocol inspired by the popular mining projects offering up to 3% daily yield. What we have to pay attention to is the fact that this is a miner and not an RI dApp 
So the 3% daily yield that we'll be getting is fluctuative based on the health of the TVL. So how do we start earning? To start earning in digital mines, you need to purchase some DBC token, which will be live later today on PancakeSwap. And this will be the native token of the ecosystem. So first of all is to go to the app itself and fill how many DBC worth of miners you want to hire and click hire miners. So after um, you hire the miners, the yield earning has started and your miners will start mining DBC for you right away, which you can um, earn your yield, withdraw or compound for better passive earnings. So from the homepage itself, you can access the miner by clicking this blue button on the top right corner of the dab. And under the dab section, you should be able to find that this is a place where you can begin earning your yield. So um, for my case, um, I've already approved the contract. But if you're new here, you should uh, first approve the contract here so that you can spend your DBC token for this miner. So currently, one DBC hires 2.33 miners. And let's actually try to hire some miners, just for example. So I'm staking 10 DBC token, which will give me 23 miners. And what I have to do now is to press confirm. Let's wait for a couple of seconds before this transaction gets approved. All right, so I've successfully bought my miners and let's try to refresh this page one time. So right here, I can see that I have 22 miners working for me. And in here, it will show how many DBC tokens that I'm earning every day. So there's a 24 hours timer. So it is recommended for you to at least perform a, an action, either withdraw or recompound. And for miners in particular, it's a good idea to compound at least several times a day in order to beat inflation and to get better rewards compared to other players out there. Now, going back to the white paper itself, so let's talk more about the digital mines. So how is the yield of digital mines calculated? So the 3% yield is directly derived from the current value of the miners you own, and the value of miners is fluid, and it depends mainly on the, new, the demand of miners that day. So how many people reinvest versus take profits? If the majority of investors are selling and not compounding, the value of miners will fall, and the 3% you earn will have a lower dollar value. Due to the nature of the projects, there are a lot of fluctuations, but a basic way to calculate the daily 3% would is as follows. So your miners divided by the amount of miners for one DBC token times 3%. So that will give you the calculation for your daily DBC yield. So yeah, generally you cannot sell your miners after hiring them, only the DBC they bring in and the 3% daily yield is directly derived from the current value of miners you own. Regarding the taxes, there are 5% tax on buy orders, which will go back to liquidity, marketing, and dev fee. And um, can I withdraw my investments back? These are just some frequently asked questions. So this has been answered above. You cannot sell your miners, just the daily earnings that you will continue to get um, per day. There is also a referral in here. If you actually copy this link right here, you'll be able to get your referral bonus. I believe it's equal to 6% of the purchase instantly into your mine DBC. So after that, you're free to use that earnings to hire more miners and improve your daily income from the DAP or just sell the yield. So another point is that this is public and this is verifiable like any other dApps and it's verifiable on chain and there are no way which the dev can um, change the functions to change its operations. So to quickly summarize, this is the first dApp that they have rolled out. You can check also the contract balance right here and also remember that this um, miner is actually available 
both on Binance Smart Chain and on Base. So you can choose either one. So you can begin earning extra DBC tokens as soon as you deposit your DBC tokens right here. So yeah, so that's it for today's video. I feel like there are a lot more exciting things to come. So I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you in my next video.